What is the worst movie you've ever seen? No, I'm not talking about this movie or that movie. I mean a movie so bad, so fundamentally broken, that it leaves a pit in your stomach or makes you feel frustrated and angry beyond any reasonable measure. This is a question I've been asking myself for a while, and I think it's about time to do something about it. So I pulled up the list of the bottom 100 lowest rated movies on IMDb, and I'm going through them one by one to find the worst movie ever. Welcome to the search for the worst. Saves the Kids is my favorite movie! Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa! You know, remember kids, bullying is wrong! Go! Oh, mama, if you find a gun, make sure you tell your daddy! Daddy Derek! Go! Oh, this movie is so good! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Whoa! I love all the kids! All of them! I went to my messages and I had a rude one. They called me an assaholic bitch. I don't like messages like that. That's mean. Ow. 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 Okay, I think that's over now. So that was. So that was Cool Cat Saves the Kids. I. I don't really. I don't really know what, what happened. Something about loving. Loving babies and boogie woogie. Cool cat loves to boogie woogie! Boogie woogie! Boogie woogie! Boogie woogie boogie woogie. No, but really, let's do the real review now. I love babies. Cool Cat Saves the Kids is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Notice how I called it a thing, though, instead of a movie, because I really don't know if this can be officially classed as one. But nonetheless, this absolute beast of an experience is a fascinating character study based around the quite frankly terrifying inner workings of one man. That one man in question being Derek Savage. Now that's the truth. The creator and one of the stars of Cool Cat Saves the Kids, or otherwise known as Daddy Derek. <laughs> So describing this thing is actually a lot more difficult than it sounds. How's that sound? Yeah. Come on, buddy. Because nothing really happens. It doesn't particularly have a traditional structure or any focus at all, really. Well, it does claim to have a point, but it's so ham-fisted and on the nose about every subject it's trying to teach kids that it just kind of comes across like an insane fever dream parading as a kid's safety movie. And move around and the cool cat boogie is my favorite sound. The admittedly somewhat innocent intention is to use a fun, lovable, furry cat character to help teach kids the basics about why bullying is wrong, what you should do if you find a gun. You know, the kind of basic stuff a parent should probably explain to a kid themselves by sitting down and actually talking to them. God forbid. I'm down with that, man. And I'm sure from the clips in the background here, and from the concept alone, it might not sound like the worst thing ever. I'm sure it just kind of looks like a cheap, straight-to-DVD throwaway piece of garbage, right? Mm-mm, nope. Look, you have no idea. You have no fucking idea what this thing has in store for you. This is a special news report. We have terrible news. Bullies have been picking on children everywhere, and it is tragic. For some comical reason, the opening is a strange collection of small children on a bad green screen background screaming for Cool Cat's help. Because obviously he's such a cool cat. Cool Cat is a hero. Cool Cat saves the children. Cool Cat stops bullying. Kids loves Cool Cat. Kids loves Cool Cat. Jesus Christ. So instead of just making Cool Cat you know. The creator opts for the let's make cool cat cool by making everyone around him just say that he's cool all the time approach. Kids don't automatically like a thing just because you brand it as being cool. In fact, I'm sure the opposite is probably true. I think most children would even find this entire character to be a pretty pathetic attempt at being hip and relevant. Look, I mean, usually seeing like a shadow or reflection of the cameraman would be something for me to make fun of. And while of course it is, it's very shitty and lazy, believe me when I say that this seems trivial in comparison to some of the events that are about to take place. Wow! This looks great! <laughs> So surprise, surprise, this is Cool Cat. Pretty self-explanatory. Especially seeing as he's a self-obsessed narcissist cat person who wears his name on his clothes and plasters his own face all over his house like a madman. Hello, this is Cool Cat. Who are you? And what's your name? You are so funny. It's me, Maria. 
Why is that funny? That's not funny. See you soon! <laughs> it looks like Cool Cat has got a case of the Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> 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 the super young little girl comes over to see Cool Cat. I'll get it! Thanks! My hands are full! <laughs> no they're not, you fucking liar! You're not doing anything! So because Cool Cat is a lazy cunt, Daddy Derek opens the door and lets the girl in. Hi Maria! Cool Cat's in the kitchen! I know! We're making signs and they're awesome! I know mm. I saw them! Great job. Uh, you guys okay, we can't go any longer without talking about the horrible, creepy overtones this movie has. I mean, this thing has. I feel like somewhere buried deep within the bowels of this thing is a truly dark and depressing story about a psycho who's having an inner war with himself. Cool Cat loves to boogie woogie! Who's created a construct out of the predator part of his being named Cool Cat. It also doesn't help that Cool Cat is a fully grown man in a giant cat suit hanging around with little children. Have a seat! Is he okay in that suit? Is it a bit warm in there, man? Oh yeah, and of course there's the part where his catchphrase is, I love all kids. And I'm Cool Cat, and I love all kids. All kids. And don't forget the fact that he loves babies too. I love babies. So for like 20 fucking minutes, this girl in the furry pretend that their front garden is an office. Like an office. Office. This is sad. There are so many editing faults, audio cutouts, poor lighting, terrible cinematography, but there are so many instances of all these things that it almost feels like it's intentional. I don't want to be a snitch! Part of me kind of wishes that this thing was intentionally bad, but I don't think that's even possible. Right. Here, I help you get in the car here. Was it locked? Yes, it was, Daddy Derek! Well, that's for safety purposes. You have to have a certain level of incompetence to be able to pull off such a glorious failure such as this. Someone. Uh, not, not only does this, again, show how clueless Savage is when it comes to understanding how children think, but it's also so reductive and exaggerated that I'm struggling to believe how he thought that this was even a little bit acceptable. Maybe that's pretty, eh? It's your texture's ugly! <laughs> hey, Cool Cat, I just got a text, but I don't know who it is! So, see what it says! So instead of straight up calling her a cunt, like a real bully would, he says she has rat hair. You're ugly and your hair looks like rat hair. No! Cool Cat is such a pussy that you can't really take hearing anything negative. Get it? Pussy? I'm moving on now, that was awful. I love being a boy! You know what, everybody? I love being a villain. So I'm just gonna scream it at the top of my lungs because I'm totally not a fucking caricature. Not shitting you, though. Later on, this bully character wrings his hands like a James Bond villain. I know, it's so dumb. Like, did Daddy Derek tell him to do that, or is he just really into his role? I know it's the joke that Americans can't do subtlety, but, like, come on. Don't you think this is just a tad ridiculous? I just got a text from the same person. Should I open it? Sure! You know, maybe they feel bad about that really mean text, and now they want to apologize. Oh yeah, he's also a fucking moron who is terrible at his job. Why don't you just block him, you rathead idiot? Why the hell would he apologize out of nowhere? And I love you too. And I'm Cool Cat, and I love all kids. Look, I know I played this clip earlier, but this is, this is astounding. It really is. Am I fat and ugly? Yes, you are. Look, I'm sorry, I have to do it, it's just too easy. I just punked it! This movie came out in 2015, by the way. Has anyone ever actually used the word punked before? Thought not. So after the chubby blonde kid stops bullying the girl with the rat hair, he moves on to Cool Cat and bullies him for a bit. And like the really good role model Cool Cat is, he gets fucking triggered and loses his cool immediately. Dogs are my friends! Identify yourself! <laughs> Maria, look over there! It's Push the Bully! And he's running away! What kind of prank calling idiot would bully them from across the street? What is he, a dumbass? And you know what? It's silly! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I... I don't really know what to say to that, so we're gonna move on now. Oh no! As sweet, sweet karma for Cool Cat, the bully kid sprays himself in the face with the paint. So I guess the message is that you shouldn't stand up for yourself and just wait for luck to deal with it for you? 
What do we have here? There's more paint. So with Cool Cat being so cool and progressive, he somehow manages to turn a bad situation into a rosy perfect one. What turn lemons into lemonade? And I love lemonade, it's so good! <laughs> Whee! Hey Jamie! And you boneheads, get over here! What do you want, Butch? Oh boy, those are some intimidating bullies, I tell you what. Now that is groovy! He thinks kids still say groovy. Oh my god. What's the matter, Madison? You lose your favorite toy? It's worse than that! Kids are graffitiing on our steel boxes and it's not pretty anymore! It's so, so wrong to steal! I'm finding it extremely difficult to explain everything that is wrong with this thing, because to do that I'd have to assume that you're as stupid as Derek Savage thinks kids are. It's like if I did this in every single Search for the Worst episode. Hey everybody, how are you doing today? Cool, I'm sure you're great. Nice! Today we're going to be talking about Cool Cat Saves the Kids, which is a pretty groovy movie. Oh, that rhymed! Nice one! Like, you get the idea. You really can't criticize this thing like a normal movie. Say what you want about this thing, but you just can't put it in a box. 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 He's about to graffiti our neighbor's wall, and it's not cool to paint on someone's wall. I've got to stop him. Cool Cat's so brave. Yeah, he's a real crime fighter. Please fucking kill me. So in a burst of uncontrolled anger, Cool Cat sprints to stop the kids from graffitiing. With friends like that, you better not have any enemies. So why do you want to paint the wall? Did you notice that guy in the background who came out of his house, saw a giant guy in a cat costume shouting at kids, then proceeded to walk backwards as to try to not be spotted? It couldn't be more perfect even if you tried. Cool Cat tries to teach these kids a lesson with wise words such as, I have a saying, true integrity means you do the right thing when no one is looking. Come on, please, you're just making it too easy for me. No one is looking. That's so smart. And here's our office. Exquisite! Is this guy in the costume just, just fucking insane? Or is it just the mad dialogue that's been written for him? Half of me feels like he's just off his cracker high as a kite right now. I mean, who else could do this shit and live with themselves? That was delicious! I'm glad <laughs> you liked it. Would you like anything else? Ugh, oh my god. Wait, so Daddy Derek and this giant cat person are actually a couple. So I guess this promotes bestiality too. And yep. Yeah, I'm not even surprised. Why couldn't Daddy Derek be a cat monster too? I mean, wouldn't a cat-human hybrid look like a monstrously terrifying mutant freak? The weirdest part is that Daddy Derek seems proud that he's managed to wrangle such a prize catch. He really does love that cat monster. And I'll be ready in a couple minutes. Hey, I bet you will, you fine-looking kitty cat, you. For some reason, this movie likes to focus in on minute details, like explaining why the rat-haired girl can't go to Hollywood tomorrow. I mean, why would she anyway? Oh yeah, they do that later, by the way. Well, there's this part later on where Daddy Derek has a completely normal household conversation about some event that is pointlessly overexplained to write around the lack of budget this movie has. This movie's aimed for like six year olds, they don't care, yet for some reason he cares about things like continuity of characters and how things would make sense in terms of scene structure, kind of. But when that's the only thing that kind of makes sense a little bit, then it makes the entire experience even more jarring and offbeat. <gasps> Look at me! I'm surfing the web! Well, this is embarrassing. So Cool Cat gets a rude email, and instead of just blocking them or deleting it like a normal person, he teaches kids that you should reply to them saying something pathetic like, If you were nice, you would have more friends, and friends are cool. Which technically is pretty much the same as throwing a pathetic insult back, which is exactly what these trolls want. So the message in this instance is actually completely wrong, utterly incorrect for how you should handle a situation like this. But then he gets another message back, and conveniently it's someone who claims to be a bully who's going to get him tomorrow. I'm a bully and I'm gonna get you tomorrow? Oh no! So Cool Cat tries to go to sleep, but he just spazzes out in fear and frustration for what this bully might do to him, even though it's his own dumbass fault. There's an awful dream sequence where Cool Cat decides that he's going to stand up to the bully, loving the use of Comic Sans as well. Very professional. When Cunt Cat wakes up in the morning, I guess he's forgotten about the bully because he's super happy again. So Daddy Derek and Cool Cunt head off to Hollywood for whatever reason. So this is my least favorite section of the movie. Cool Cat and Daddy Derek just sort of fuck around in Hollywood for a bit, and there's this really fucking boring section where Cool Cat is in the Hollywood parade, complete with a little girl's screaming sound effect added in the background. Oh, 
Oh, but I almost forgot. Before Cool Cat was allowed in the Hollywood Parade, they needed Mama Cat's permission first. But I don't know. It sounds like a lot of responsibility. Oh, but can I, Mommy? Please, please, can I? Look, I'm just gonna freeze this for a second. Just take a good, long look at this. This is the most utterly ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Oh god, and there was another part I forgot as well. Where Daddy Derek and Cool Cat write a song for the parade. Do you have any other suggestions? Oh, Daddy Derek, I'm full of suggestions! Please? Like, how about Please stop, cool you can Cat stop now. Okay, I, I get that you wanted to make this scene exciting and full of energy, but, but this is too much. This is just too cool much. To just stop. Just, please just end. Cool Cat loves to boogie woogie! Cool Cool Cat loves to boogie. So then, of course, when they finish, they have to try out their newly written song. But from what I can figure out, the only reason this scene exists at all is because Derek Savage wanted to show off his Van Halen signed guitar like a kid at show and tell. Also, yeah, the song is fucking awful. <laughs> Next up is another creepy scene where Cool Cat is playing with kids. <laughs> hey, who's that kid? I don't know. Yeah, what the fuck is this kid doing here? This is private property, surely. But then the bully comes in and kicks down his sandcastle in the most cliche, ridiculous way possible. Then Cool Cunt finally stands up for himself and shows the bully what for. Not by kicking his ass for being a little shit, but by just sort of angrily screaming at him until he runs away. It probably also helps that he's a six foot grown adult and the fat blonde kid is like eight years old. So the film just keeps on going, baby. There's no pacing, no arcs or story beats to hit. It just feels like a collection of random 15 minute scenes about various kids safety topics. And that's probably because it is. From what I can figure out, all this film is, is a loosely shambled together human centipede of all the old Cool Cat clips and stories Derek Savage has made before. The next one is about looking both ways before crossing roads. It's fucking boring. But always look both ways before crossing the street! Okay, so just hypothetically, wouldn't it be the stupidest thing you've ever heard if I told you that in this universe there was a bully who was going around stealing candy from babies? You know, the totally ridiculous phrase that isn't actually a thing that happens? Well... It happens. Kids beware. There have been several robberies. Bad guys are stealing candy from babies. That's horrible! I love babies! And surprise, surprise, it was the tubby blonde kid who was responsible. So to fit into the title of Cool Cat saving the kids, because he hasn't actually saved anyone yet, remember? He's just kind of whinged and whined about being bullied like a little bitch. So for some reason the kid figures he can trip up Cool Cat by throwing the baby candy on the floor. But Cat Cunt proves himself by first not looking before he crosses the road like the scene just before taught us to do, and he epically jumps over the floor candy like a real hero. But then the police capture the kid and fucking arrest him. Well that came out of nowhere. Ha! <laughs> Here's a fun fact. Hoo -hoo. Apparently, the guy who plays the police officer here is a well known porn star. Classy cool cat. Mwah. This is a good way to teach the kids, too. Rule them through fucking fear. If you break the rules, kids, you'll be arrested and thrown in jail. But that's not enough still, because then, oh my god, they find a conveniently placed gun in the back garden. Oh no! So they freak out. And blonde chubby boy, who I guess is no longer in police custody anymore, who's also been stalking cool cat, I suppose, grabs the gun and runs off with it like the tiny madman he is. Luckily, Daddy Derek is on the case, though, because Cool Cunt does the right thing and tells his daddy. So Daddy Derek calls up the blonde chubber's parents, and he gets arrested again. Oh no, it's the police! Please. We're in trouble! Oh, my mom is gonna whoop me! Shut! So then it's all sunshine and rainbows, where Cool Cat wins a bunch of prizes and money, and he's everyone just sucks his dick all day long. And then suddenly they explain how to properly avoid online bullying out of nowhere by not replying to it. You know, the thing I've been saying all the way through this video. The really obvious thing. That thing, yeah. But then it goes to the credits, but then for the movie's final insult, there's like an after credit scene where all the actors gather around the camera and explain why bullying is bad. Again. 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 You know, forget the fact that this flick already lacks all subtlety. They actually stand here and have the nerve to just re-explain everything you've just had spelled out to you. Now that's not very groovy, is it? Cunt Cunt Saves the Kids is a perfect example of why some people should never be allowed near cameras, or be allowed to share their weird children's movie ideas in any capacity, actually. Some people are just not suited for entertainment like this. Derek Savage is clearly completely clueless when it comes to writing children's movies. I'm sure I'm not the first to say it, and I'm sure I won't be the last. But in terms of the actual movie, despite how utterly ridiculous and simplistic it is, it's one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. It's balancing perfectly on the so bad that it's good line. I harped on Birdemic for its incompetence, but this is in another ballpark entirely. I want to hate it more than I do, but then I'm reminded of something like... 
and I just can't help but laugh the pain away. There's a very fine line between something that is frustratingly lazy and shoddy, and being the perfect combination of bewildered cluelessness that spawns a rare gem like this. Cool Cat is perfect for all the wrong reasons. It's literally everything a kid's movie shouldn't be. It's everything a movie shouldn't be. The messaging is bad, it over explains everything, it's scary, creepy, boring, lazy, it's everything and nothing. I pray to god that Daddy Derek won't make a sequel to this mess, because once these self-obsessed maniacs learn that people ironically like their terrible property, well, that's when we get the real shit. And up next in the search for the worst is... Oh goody. So the Smosh movie was actually the initial winner of the vote I did for this episode's spot for a while. It was in the lead for a while. But then Your Movie Sucks retweeted the vote I was doing, and as a result made Cool Cat win. Thanks again for that, by the way. <laughs> but I've never actually seen a Smosh video, so this should be interesting, hopefully. So those are my thoughts on Cunty Cunt Cunts the Cunts. So what did you think? Does the movie look so bad that it's good to you? Or is it just uh, just a bit too much? Did you like or dislike the video? Blah -de blah blah. Tell me whatever it is in the comments below. So as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. Make sure you check out the trying to watch for this episode for my legitimate initial reaction to the movie. And my second channel, Jar Media, for more content. I'll see you next time. Bye.